What's good everybody, this is the one and only GM. And today, I wanna make this video cause y'all ask me this question all the time. Every time I stream, y'all always ask me this question. Y'all always ask me, yo GM, why you not going to this tournament? GM, you gonna go to the next tournament? Are you going to this next week? Y'all always ask me this question. So I wanted to make this video to explain to you guys why I stopped going to tournaments and why I haven't thought about going to tournaments. So I wanted to make this video to let it clear, let it clear. I've been entering a couple of online tournaments recently. If y'all follow my channel, you know, I entered two TNS tournaments, got top three at both of them, you know, pretty good. Got to show people I can still play and stuff like that. Pretty good. Um, tournaments took way too damn long. I had to sit down for nine hours of streaming to drink, way too long. Um, the second time I entered, they made me play a real laggy dude. I had to wait 20 minutes just so he could restart his computer. And it was just horrible. It was unplayable. So, of course, I lost the winner's finals, right? So, after that, I kind of was like, eh, I don't really want to enter these no more. They take too long. And then I got $120 both times for, for third place. Too much work and not enough bread. You know what I'm saying? So, that's that's that with that. Um, last weekend, I entered the ESL joint because I qualified for it, right? So I entered the ESL joint and then I qualified again for the main joint. I got top two in points. The next day, you yeah, already know, just watch the ESL video already. They let me play to get top eight. So in general, tournaments are too stressful and too not enough bread in them. I know there's some tournaments that got big money prizes, but I will have to practice every day, like every day. And I also play high level opponents all day. And also, I will have to spend all the funds I make as a content creator to go to every single tournament. And that is impractical for me. Because I did do a voting thing on on Twitter, asking people what they rather me to be a content creator or full-time pro. More than half of the people said a full-time pro. I try to be a full-time pro, Tekken 6, Tekken Tag 2, and Tekken 7. I could not do it. Tekken 6 was the first time I was able to be a full-time pro because I got a lot of opportunities competing. So Tekken 6 was great for me. That was a great time. I was able to do the full-time pro thing, and I was able to go everywhere. Tag 2, couldn't do it. Money wasn't very good in that game for the for the tournaments. I won a lot in that game, and um, sponsors didn't care about Tag 2. And then Tekken 7, I kind of lost interest in competing because of Tag 2. You know, the money was too low. I didn't have no sponsors, so I was kind of forced to become a content creator because I couldn't be a full-time pro. So that's why I started making content. I wanted to be a full-time pro. But I couldn't because the money wasn't there. So I just want to explain to people my mindset. My mindset now is to grow my YouTube, grow my content, uh, grow my stream. And if I could, maybe I'll do maybe one or two big tournaments or whatever. But I'm not I'm not trying to be a big time pro unless I get an offer or something like that. But my old interest is in content. So I want to explain it to you guys that keep thinking, yo, you're a pro. You're going to this tournament. You're going to that tournament. I'm not going to do the whole pro thing. And the reason why is because it's very expensive. It will cost a lot of money for me to go everywhere. I'm not really trying to go everywhere. My main mission is to grow as a content creator and grow my stream. So I just want to tell you guys why I stopped going to tournaments. You know what I'm saying? Plus, I feel like the community is very, very, it's very toxic. It's very toxic and there's a lot of fake people in the community. And I'd rather not be around these people. So I feel like me making content sticking to myself is better for me as an individual. I don't need to be around negative people. I don't need to be around clicky people. I don't need to be around fake people. I make my content. You like it or you don't. You don't need to watch it if you don't. You know what I'm saying? And the final thing on this whole video too, you have to understand too because I know there's a lot of viewers that are new to my channel. I competed in tournaments since I was 15 years old. I traveled all over from 15 all the way to mid-20s. I went everywhere. I went to every major. You know what I'm saying? I went overseas to play Tekken. So the whole traveling and competing thing, I've been there, done that. And I got tired of it. Started streaming and making content. So you got to understand from an OG's perspective, I've been through the joint. So you can't expect me to do something my whole life that I did before. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, times change, man. I want to grow. I want to make money off of this thing I'm passionate about. I don't want to be broke and just do stuff that's not good for me. So that's why I made this video and I want to make it clear for you guys. I'm not retired. If I if I feel like a, a place is good for me to go to, a good opportunity for me to go to, I'll do it. If I feel there's a tournament that's good for me, 
I'll do it. But that's not my main goals and not my main plans when it comes to what I'm doing right now. So if you like my content, watch my stream. If you like my videos, watch my stream like this. Watch my video like this one. Like it. Subscribe. All of that. You know what I'm saying? So this, that's why I made the video. To make it clear where, where I'm at right now. So that's all. And I thanks everybody for watching. Be sure to check out FireGM underscore Tekken. That's the, that's the Twitch. Check out all my sponsors. Please like all my videos. I make content every single day. All types of content. Match videos. Everything. So check that all out. And thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace out. Take care. Laters.